Hi guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a quick demo on how to do a live streaming from your mobile phone to YouTube. Remember YouTube app does not allow you to live stream if you don't have at least 1000 subscribers. Let's get started. So for this demo I'm going to divide into two sections. One, all the settings that we will be doing on the mobile phone. The second will be on the YouTube channel. I prefer making changes for YouTube on the desktop. It's a lot easier, but you can always do it on a mobile browser too. Okay. First thing I wanted to do is on the mobile app. So I connected my mobile phone to my PC. So it's easy for me to show you what I'm doing. Go to your app store. If it's Apple or Android, both of those app stores have this app called Lanix Broadcaster. Install Okay. Search for the app called Lanix Broadcaster and install it on your mobile. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so I have installed it. So let me open the app. Give uh, the permissions. The app is very simple. The moment you open, you have few buttons and a record button. So currently don't see anything because my phone is face down. So when I lift it, you can actually see whatever my phone is seeing, right? So let me put it back. First thing you want to do is go to the settings. And here we need to create a connection. So this is how the app knows where the video should be streamed to. Right, and what we have to put in this connection comes from our YouTube channel. So let me stop here, show you how to set it up on the YouTube channel, and then we'll see how to create this connection. Right, so now let me go back, open my browser, go to YouTube. On YouTube, make sure you're logged into your, your channel or your account. Once you're logged in, you should see the create button. Click on the button and go to go live. So give it a few seconds and you should see a screen something very similar to this. So on the left side, you have three options. One is to live stream right now. The other one is to live stream using your webcam if you are using it from your computer and third one is to schedule a stream where you want it in case you want to stream it in a future date for this demo i'm just doing a quick live stream so i am in the default place the two important settings that we need here is the key the stream key and the url so what you want to do is copy the url Right. Let me minimize. If you go back to your Lalix app, go to the settings, go to connections, and in new connections, give a name. Let's say my. And here, paste the link that you just copied from your YouTube. Okay. Don't save it yet. Let's go back to the YouTube channel this time copy the stream key come back to your mobile phone put a forward slash and paste the key so your connection URL should look more like the RTMP and the YouTube link followed by a forward slash and the key so this is how the larynx app knows whenever we are streaming the video where the signals the audio and video should be sent to everything else you can leave default click save once you click on the save you should be back to the outgoing connections screen make sure the connection that you just created is checked if it is unchecked then the signals will not reach 
similar to the way we created this connection you can create multiple other connections so the the second one could be for facebook and yes uh, larix does allow you to stream to multiple destinations at the same time i think it allows up to four destinations so you can have the same video being sent to youtube at the same time you can send it to facebook and twitch and other destinations okay but in this demo let's keep it simple and we try to stream it to youtube so once the output connections are set and it's checked go back go back and the moment you click this record button it will start streaming there are other options which you can check later uh, if you have multiple cameras on your phone then you can decide which camera to use what video size etc for now let's leave everything default let me move the screen so i can show you what is happening when i click on the recording button so now that we have set up our mobile and the youtube channel on the mobile we have in, uh, set up the connection to go to this particular key on this particular url so the moment i click on this record button you should see the live stream start here so let me do that i click right now you don't see anything let me point my camera to something and within few seconds you should see the video so right now my mobile app is live streaming and i can see the results on youtube now if i go back to my app and for whatever the reason let's say i decide to stop or have a network issue you can see the same thing will appear here within few seconds you can see there is no data the stream will end shortly unless you restart so basic because there is no data coming in it's it's waiting for signals to come back and when i resume on my phone it will start back so you should see i sh i'm trying to put my task cam just to show you a different screen there and once your live stream is done you can stop on your mobile and then on youtube you can come and click on end stream button to end the stream that's all i wanted to show you it's a very quick demo showing you how to set it up um, your larix app on your mobile so that you can stream to youtube i hope uh, this helps thank you for watching bye